Hi friends, it's Carrie from Stretch G. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, for those of you who are new, we're doing Kihara resistance stretching. If you've never done it before, check this link up above. Watch that first. It'll give you some rules to follow so that you know how, that you're doing this the right way and how to do it. Um, if you are not new, thanks for coming back. If you haven't subscribed, click that link. It's over there. Click it and subscribe to my channel right there. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's actually really helpful for me to spread the word about Kihara because YouTube picks that up and it's like, oh, people like her must be important. So do it. Subscribe, like this, give it thumbs up, give it hearts, whatever, and um, help me spread the word about Kihara that way. I have a special treat for you guys today. Usually I just do a short video like a leg stretch or an arm stretch, like it's like your arm day, but actually I've been getting a lot of questions from people lately about sciatic pain and low back pain. Now, a lot of times when people have sciatica, they feel this like tightness, they notice in their glutes, they feel this like shooting pain down their leg, it's um, not fun, and they will stretch their glutes like a ridiculous amount or they'll foam roll or something like that. I'm actually gonna show you how you can get a lot of relief and maybe even fix the problem. I mean, maybe, we'll see. It depends, I mean, there are a lot of factors, but I've had a lot of success with this by stretching your hamstrings and a couple other muscles. Now, if you guys have watched my other videos, you'll notice that I'll say in the videos, like, click the problem solving link in the description below if this muscle doesn't work. I'm not gonna do that in this one because I'm actually just gonna give you the problem solving video. So you're welcome. We're gonna do some work to see if we can get this loosened up. So we're gonna do a bunch of hamstring stretches. The first one we're gonna do is for the outer part of your hamstring. It's on the outside here. You're gonna lay on your back. I have a rope. You probably want one, especially if you're having sciatic pain, you're probably gonna need it. So a rope, a belt, a towel, a yoga strap, whatever you need, okay? Um, also, with these stretches, you may want something to put under your head. I usually just hold my head up with my hand, but if you have a block or a pillow or something, feel free to get that too. You wanna to be comfortable. Now, lay on your back. Bring your left leg up and wrap the rope around your foot. Grab the rope in your right hand, and you're gonna turn your knee in so that your knee is like right under your hand. So I'm actually like internally rotated. Then I'm gonna kick my heel down. And as I kick down, I'm trying to kick my heel down towards the outside of my hip. So I'm kind of kicking to the left. Continue kicking down to your resistance and you'll pull up for your stretch while resisting the entire time. Kick down for strength and pull up for stretch. Now, if you don't feel this stretch, then don't do it, just skip it. Go on to the next side, or just you know, fast forward if you don't feel the stretch. You should feel it on the outer part of your hamstring here. If you feel it on the inside, go ahead and stop. Just go into the next stretch. If you feel any pinching in the front of your hip, <clears throat> if it just feels uncomfortable, like it's okay, you just skip it, it's okay. So you're kicking down for strength and pulling up for stretch. This stretch can go all the way from your glutes to your foot. So if you're feeling a little calf, that's okay too. Should go right about here to the outside of your leg. Then we're aiming for about six to 10, but you can stop whenever you feel like it. Just listen to your body because it'll tell you what it wants. Down for strength and up for stretch. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now I'm gonna put the rope around my right foot. I'm gonna grab the rope with my left hand. I like to get a good hold on it. I'm gonna turn my knee in towards my hand. Like it's, my knee is kind of hovering over my sternum, like here. If you looked at it from this angle, instead of being straight on like this, I'm actually gonna turn a little bit like this. I kick down for strength, and as I kick down, I'm kicking down to the right and I pull up, I'm pulling with my arm. Notice how I'm actually pulling my arm over my head. And that's at a diagonal up over my left ear. I kick down for strength and up for stretch. Again, you're gonna pay attention to what you feel here. If you feel it in your hip, like through the hamstring, through the back of your right leg, then it's good. You could feel it in your calf. That would also be okay, like right through here on the outside, if you feel it on the inside, if you feel it in the front, if you don't feel anything at all, 
if you just don't like it, just skip it and we're gonna revisit this stretch later. So you pull up for stretch and you kick down for strength. And again, we're aiming for about six to 10 or until your body's like, that's good, I'm good. Down for strength and up for stretch. And you just go back and forth. Only move at the range that feels good. So if you only go this far, that's okay. Just move in that range. That's all right too. Just make sure you're always resisting. And if anything hurts again, just stop and move on to the next stretch. All right. Huh. Next, we're coming into a stretch for your inner thighs. So you're gonna bring your feet together like a butterfly. Take your elbows and rest them on your knees. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable to you, it's okay just to bring your feet open a little bit more. So you let your feet push away from your body. That might feel a little more stable. Uh, or you could even sit on a block or something if that feels better. But find a place where you feel pretty good here. Put your elbows on your knees and you're gonna squeeze in with your legs while you try to push your arms apart. So the resistance is between your knees and your arms. Your arms will pull you into the stretch. So I'm actually pulling my arms apart. As I open up, I'm leaning forward a little bit. You should feel the stretch on your inner thighs. Again, it's okay if you only move a small range. With this one, I found if you resist too hard, you'll feel it in your glutes or in the outside of your hips. So if you're feeling that, just lighten up a bit. If that doesn't change it, if you don't feel it in your inner thighs anymore, if you just feel it on the outside, then go ahead and skip this stretch. So you open up for stretch, you pull in for strength and you're just going back and forth. It's also normal to feel the stretch in the back of your shoulders as you come up. So when I come up this way, I feel my arms a little bit. It's normal to shake too, so don't be surprised if you're a little shaky. That's quite all right. But you should notice that you feel a really good stretch in the inner groin area, like right here. And again, we're aiming for about six to 10, but you just do as many as you want. If it doesn't feel good, you can stop. Feel tired, you can stop. Feels great, pause the video, keep stretching, and then start again. Do as many as you want. Maybe not like 100, but you know, 15 is not that bad. If it feels good. Feels good to me. <laughs> All right. The next stretch we're gonna do is for your inner hamstring, medial hamstring, it's right here. So we're gonna change the angle of our hamstring stretch a little bit. I'll lay on my back and face the other way so you can see the direction. So again, you can use your rope if you want. Get a good hold on it. This time, instead of being straight up and down or being turned in like you were before, you're gonna open up to the sides. So I'm gonna let my knee drop open. I'm kicking my heel down towards my glutes. I'm actively pulling my arm up this way. So you kick down for strength and you pull up for stretch. Kick down for strength and up for stretch. This one was stretch of the day last week, I think, or maybe two weeks ago. So if you want a little bit deeper into the stretch, you can look at another video and see if you can learn a little bit more about it. Kick down for strength, fight with your arm. Then your arm wins. I'm actually pulling my arm up over my right shoulder and then kick down for strength. It should feel like you're working out a bit. And you should feel the stretch, maybe the inside of your calf, all the way down to your groin, on the inside, here. And again, we're going for about six to 10, but you can stop when you want. If you don't feel the stretch on your inner thigh, you can stop and just move on to the next stretch. If this is hard on your shoulders, you can use your hand to grab your foot. And that's a little bit of a different way to do it. I just grab my big toe, or you can grab your heel. Whatever feels good. And let's do the other side. So your left leg now will have the rope around your foot. Grab the rope with your hand and give it a little 
double up so that you feel really in control of that rope. Let your knee open up to the side about 45 degrees. Kick your heel down while you pull the rope up and then use your arm to pull you into the stretch. So I'm pulling my arm up over my head. Pulling up, 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 up. And kicking down. Your leg continues to fight as you pull up. So I'm resisting the whole time. And on the way down even, my arm is slowing me down. And you go into that stretch and kick down for strength. Again, about six to 10 or until you wanna stop. Take stock and notice what you feel. It should be on the inner part of your leg, maybe from the inside of your calf all the way down, but definitely the hamstring on the inside here. If you feel anything different, just stop. Don't do it. Skip it. Do the next stretch. If it feels great, stick with it. All right, we're gonna switch to a different stretch now. It looks similar, but this time, my rope's tied. Oh, there we go. You're gonna grab both sides of the rope with both hands. My knee is pointing directly in towards my right shoulder. It's my right leg, my right shoulder. So I'm not turned open or turned in. I'm just straight on. You're gonna pull over your head with your arms while you kick down with your heel, and then pull up for your stretch. Kick down for strength and up for stretch. You go as far in your range as you feel comfortable with. So let me show you from this side. You can kick down and pull up, even if it's just this much, that's okay. Or you can go all the way down and all the way up, whatever your range is, your body will tell you when to stop. Just make sure that you're always resisting and always moving so you don't even hang out at the top. As soon as the stretch feels done, you kick right back down. Slow enough that you feel the resistance catch. And in this one, you should feel a stretch in the back of your hamstring right here. If you don't, it's okay. Just skip the stretch. Let's switch and try the other side. So the same thing, I'm just gonna switch the rope. My arms are gonna be in the same position. I'm gonna pull my arms over my head while I kick my heel down towards my glutes. And then I'm gonna use my arms to pull me up into the stretch and then kick right back down. This doesn't have to feel like hard work. So you just pull up as far as your body feels like it wants to and then you kick back down. If you notice that you're getting to a certain point where you feel like your arms are like, really, you're like trying to pull it into a stretch, you've gone too far. This motion should feel really smooth and steady. It's a little bit of tension, for sure, and there's tension, but it won't feel like you're straining anything. Should feel good. Should feel like a nice, warm, deep stretch here through the hamstring, through the whole belly of the muscle. So kick down for strength and up for stretch. And up for stretch. Good, now come up into a seated position. And if you guys have watched my problem solving videos before, you know that sometimes problems in your lower body could be caused by something happening in your upper body, in your shoulders, something to do with your trunk. So let's work through a stretch for your trapezius muscle. This is gonna go up into the top of your shoulder into your neck here but the trapezius also comes all the way down the back. So we're gonna work on that muscle group specifically. Bring your right arm across your body, grab your wrist with your other hand, and resist like you're trying to pull both arms apart. Then you're gonna push up towards the ceiling. Your left arm will slow you down, and then pull down 
resisting with your right hand the whole time. When you get to the bottom, bring your head over to the side. You're gonna pull your head away from the shoulder that's stretching, so it's gonna to be to your left side. Push up for strength, pull down to the left, so your hand will go over towards your left knee, and your head will go to the left. Now I'm sitting like this because I want to. You can sit however you want. You can even stand up and do the stretch if you feel like it. It's fine. You do what you want. As long as you feel the stretch here, you should be fine. If you feel anything different, you can skip the stretch, move on to the next one. That's how it works. Up for strength and down for stretch. It's a pretty big paradigm shift for a lot of people to stop doing something that's like a prescribed workout, right? So I have these handful of stretches that are made specifically to help your sciatic pain, right? To help your low back pain even, so that we can get activation in the back of your leg and through the lateral hamstring. That's the whole point. But the way that we get that to happen is we remove any barriers that are blocking you from being able to do that one specific stretch. So any one of these stretches could be the barrier, but it's typically just one of them. So you don't have to do all of them, especially if they are not comfortable or hurt for you, then don't do them. It's not healthy for you. Your body is telling you like, this is not a good thing for me. So if you are having any sort of like anxiety, uh, pain, cramping, uh, you're having, like you're holding your breath. Um, if the stretch makes you kind of like angry or antsy, or if you just feel really fatigued, then that's a sign that like that stretch isn't the one that's gonna fix the problem. Actually, the one that's gonna fix the problem is the one that feels the best. And there usually is at least one that you're like, whoa, this stretch is amazing, right? That's the one that needs stretch the most. Your body tells you, this is exactly what I need because it feels good. And then when you go back to the others that didn't feel good, they should feel better. So you switched arms here. You're gonna push up with your left hand while you pull down to the right this time and your head will go to the right. Push up for strength and pull down for your stretch. And when you get to the bottom, bring your head over to the right, maybe your forehead a little bit forward to get that neck stretch. So good. Up for strength and down for stretch. And again, if it doesn't feel good, just skip it because it might not be important at all. Listen to your body. If your body says, mm -mm, don't like it, then listen to it. The no pain, no gain thing is fine if you're like running a marathon, right? If you need to get through mile 13 or whatever. When you're stretching, if you're in pain, your body will respond by trying to create a compensation pattern to get you out of pain. It doesn't like it, doesn't like pain. If you think about it, it makes sense because if you're doing a stretch and it hurts and you continue past the hurt, you could actually like dislocate something or tear something, right? Your body does not want that to happen. So instead, it's gonna try to reroute you so that you don't do something stupid, right? So listen to your body, that's the way you stay injury free. Listen to your body, it'll tell you what it needs, it'll tell you what it wants, and it'll also tell you if something's good or bad. Now, if you listen to me, when I tell you if something's good or bad, what to do next, we can change that response. So instead of your body saying, whoa, this stretch is not good, then your body will be like, oh, this stretch is awesome. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like it was the same stretch, and it can happen so quickly. So speaking of, we're gonna go back into our lateral hamstring stretch that we started with and see if we can get that muscle active and working. So you're gonna lay on your back. This is the same one we were doing at the beginning. Wrap the rope around your left leg. Wrap the rope around your right hand and give it a little twist so you know you have enough um, tension on that rope. Turn your knee in so your, your hip is actually, you're gonna rotate your femur internally at your hip. Your knee will come in towards your elbow. You're going to kick down and resist with your rope, and then pull the rope over your right shoulder, and you're going to stretch on the outer part of your left leg, right here. Kick down for strength, 
and pull up for stretch. If you're not able to get relief on the stretch, go to the description of this video. It's just right below where you know all the writing is. Look down there, and I put my email in uh, my website. I mean, not my email. I don't really get lots of emails. Uh, I put in my website. You guys can get a hold of me. We can either do a one-on-one -on -one session live if you're in Chicago, or I can do something online to help you figure out how to get this activated. Give you some relief through that sciatic nerve or through your glutes, your hamstrings, low back pain. It might be something that needs a little bit more work. So feel free to reach out. But if it does feel good, if you do feel the stretch on the outside now, then you've made positive change. You've worked through the problem solving and you've changed something. So your sciatic pain should also change, hopefully for the better. So now bring your right leg up, put the rope around your right leg, grab the rope with your left hand, turn your knee internal, kick your heel down towards the outside of your right hip and pull up over your left shoulder. So it's a diagonal stretch down to the right and up to the left. It's almost like if you were kicking down at southwest, you'd be pulling up at northeast. And again, you should go with some of the outer part of your right hamstring, something outside here. When you come up into the stretch, let's see if I can find it for you. Kick down here as I pull up. I feel the stretch along this line. Down for strength and up for stretch. If you don't feel it there again, go ahead and reach out to me and I can help you figure it out because that's what I do. All right. <laughs> okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this problem solving video. If this is your first time doing problem solving, um, I hope I just blew your mind because it's kind of amazing. But also, on um, all my other videos, there's a link in the description box where you can uh, get the problem solving video for any of these stretches. So check them out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a like, be sure to subscribe. Um, oh, and tell your friends. Send this video on to everyone you know with back pain because it will totally help. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a good one, guys.